In this video, we make a quick stop in a marina before heading out in some pretty rough weather on the east side of Antigua to an absolutely beautiful and calm anchorage. On this day, we started off in Falmouth Harbor on the south side of Antigua. All right, getting ready to move the boat. Uh, we're gonna pull up anchor. We're gonna go to marina. How you guys doing? Ready to go, yes. Let's uh, pull the fenders right. over for now, leave them on the deck. Okay. So we're doing a starboard side tie. They've already got all the fenders and lines set for that. We had already been anchored in the harbor, so it was a quick hop over to the marina. Made it, no problem. One of the first things we do when we arrive to a marina is hook up the shore power. Sometimes if the receptacle is far enough away, we have to have two cables and connect them together. So it's pretty much a uh, standard procedure for pulling in the marina, kind of get settled, and then first thing we do is clean the boat, get all the salt off the stainless mo mostly, just to keep everything nice and pretty. And uh, the girls have already got the front washed down. It's a good thing we have a wash down system on this boat because the water pressure at this marina is awful. Like, terrible. Let me show you. At this rate, it'll take us a day to fill up our water tanks. Uh, so it's not the end of the world, whatever, we'll just leave it going. But, so we have the wash down system. We got one forward and one aft. It's fresh water. Use our water tanks, so kind of nice. I do wish that it had a salt water wash down for the front to wash off the anchor, but it's just the fresh water. Here you have everyone's dreams, even mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girls in a bikini watching, washing the boat. That's about right. They're doing, good, doing a good job down there. We got the window washer with squeaky clean, <laughs> squeaky clean More windows. More like streaky clean. St oh, streaky clean. <laughs> Where is she? She ready? I'm ready. Neck tats. It was only ten points with Bobby of. Doesn't so matter how you lose, we, all that counts is that yeah, you lose. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so we played a game. And before we even started the game, we decided the loser of the game would have to get a neck tattoo, like just a pin, like drawing, on their neck and wear that to dinner. And by 10 points, I beat out Floor for last place. <laughs> I guess place. who was the biggest winner? Me! Okay, well that's not the story. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> yeah. But now, it's a neck tattoo on Floor. So, what are we thinking? Claws? Whatever your heart desires. No, man. you're the better drawer. Me? What do you draw very well? <laughs> I guess we'll see the results. <laughs> we can draw. I'm thinking like a claw that goes like here. A claw? All right. I can, or, I can, or just like I love my mom. Family oriented. Good job. <laughs> I thought that everyone was drawing something. Stop talking. <laughs> oh, she's sassy. That's <laughs> what so she's going for? Is this What's, What's happening? <laughs> when you pay in, when you pay less. <laughs> this is this is uh, the the twenty dollar tattoos, <laughs> the Friday the Thirteenth tattoos. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I was kind of expecting a little better, but I mean, okay. We got the artist. Yeah. This we is got <laughs> the supposed. This is what my supposed my art? client brought to me. And she, we got the art. Is he fishing? <laughs> Without it, is it a banana? It's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow. Good job. Thank you. Let me say this. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> I adore it. <laughs> hey, this what is no family. For? What are you fishing for, Floor? <laughs> Whatever it's in the sea. <laughs> That's what we're gonna catch when we go fishing. Yeah, I like it. Cheers. Do you want to go fishing with her, Bobby? Yeah, totally. I think <laughs> she's my inspiration. Well, well done. Thank you. All right, uh, we're going to an Italian dinner, so limoncello. Uh, you know, you, you, you got it. Am I making a toast? Sure. Oh. Uh, and uh, by the way, Steve and Loretta are the limoncello people, so you cheers have... to you guys. Yes. Cheers to you guys. Thank you. <laughs> cheers. 
Cheers. Mm. <laughs> I did a little much. Ooh. Yeah, it was a heavy pour. That was a heavy pour. We need to get some real shot glasses. Mm. Actually, we don't. That'd be dangerous. We're gonna get one on each island. Yeah, we decided. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Island and get a shot glass. And Thanks, that's what we're gonna Bobby. Do. I think I'm in trouble with this crew. Salon <laughs> <laughs> uh, AC. I'm just gonna turn all the ACs off just in case. Trying to get the AC fixed. All right, we had a couple nights here at the marina getting things ready to go. I uh, got the air conditioner fixed. It was just simply a relay that burned out. Uh, so that was like 100 bucks fixed, not a big deal. Uh, but now I'm checking the oils on the engines, on the generator. I'm gonna pull up the dinghy, the girls are working out, and then uh, we'll get moving here in a little bit. Just because you're living on a boat doesn't mean you can't work out. It can be fairly hard to stay fit when cruising, so you really have to keep after it. This crew stays pretty active anyway. It was time to get off the dock and keep cruising. All right, the crew is sorting out the deck and we made sure it's gonna be pretty bumpy out there. So we made sure we uh, put everything away downstairs and might fall over. And it's gonna be about an hour, well, maybe about 45 minutes of kind of rough chop getting out there but it's supposed to be even breezier tomorrow so just get out of here today or it's gonna be worse tomorrow so but where we're going should be pretty nice we were headed over to the east side of Antigua behind a natural reef next to Green Key and things were just a little bit rough out on the water yeah that fishing boat out here I mean it really shows you the scale of some of these waves I mean like when he goes down below, in the below, below those waves, you can't even see him. So, you know, the waves are bigger than this boat. I mean, they're six feet, something like that. They're not that bad, but uh, yeah, it's, not, it's not as bad as I was you know, hoping, expecting. <laughs> so. What do we got up here? So, up there on the left, it's called Pillars of Hercules. It's um, supposed to look like pillars. I don't know what to Look how blue this water is over here. I know, right? So yeah, it's nothing but basically Atlantic Ocean that way. So this is all, all the water is just coming this way. It's really clean and clear. Big wave though. Down the rain is gone. Woo! Hey, <laughs> bride. 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 Too bad in here, nice and smooth in there. We're just gonna go down to this little point. We can look on either side, see which way we want to be on. This looks pretty good though. Yeah, it looks good. A lot more people on the other side though, so maybe we, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we come back over here where it's not as crowded. I always check multiple sets of charts, my phone and the chart plotter, just to make sure they match up. So it's good, so we're clipping. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh no, poor thing. <laughs> Oh, I got that. Did you? <laughs> I didn't see it. The charts say there were moorings in the bay, but they really didn't look in the greatest condition. We got Bobby doing his perfect job, and we got Steph and Meg. Yep. The moorings were really heavy and looked in pretty poor condition, so we decided to switch over to our anchor and drop that instead of picking up a mooring. What's everybody doing up here? We were supporting Steph with our mental love. I hear, her, I hear her cussing. The bridle is not the handiest. The girls got us anchored all right, and we were ready to kick back and enjoy the beautiful bay. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady, cause I'm. The east side of Antigua is one of the more famous kiteboarding spots, and is home of 40 knots kite surfing school. They keep saying. 
There were a lot of boats anchored there, and quite a few of them were anchored there just for the kite surfing. The reason it's so popular with kite surfers is that the reef knocks down the waves, yet lets the wind blow plenty strong across the bay. Check out this super yacht, complete with its own floating dock and helicopter. So Meg, what happened to the coral? Well, we got very lucky that it, this didn't actually open because it fell, apparently, it fell right on itself. <laughs> um, its neck is right, broken. Right next to Bobby's computer stuff. <laughs> That would have been really bad. Been bad. You got the occasional Caribbean rain swarm. We had been having trouble with our mood lights, so I went to work on fixing those. Hey, Meg. <laughs> what does Meg know? I came here at the right time. Meg what knows make how to make rice. Yes. I, I usually know. make it with a rice cooker. I do know yes. how to make rice. That is your job. We're like, where's Meg? We need the rice. <laughs> did we do it? We did it. Oh my god! Congrats, man. You did great. Thank you. Oh, he's happy. He's very happy. <laughs> so. <laughs> when you're out self-sufficient on the boat, come up with all kinds of things to entertain yourself, and we had a nice little night of charades. That is beautiful. It's worth it to she go just inside. rose from the darkness. Thank you all for watching. Please click that subscribe button, and we left the patron-only footage in this video just so you get a taste of what they get on the bonus footage for Sailing Doodles.